back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Today we're after more beautiful perch. I'm on a familiar lake, but I decided to hunt out a few new spots uh, to look for just in case I have a slow day. Well, uh, when you're out looking for perch, a good thing to do is look for a point on the lake or something else. Right now I have a shallow bay, it's really shallow, that goes out and opens up uh, to two points on both sides and drops off to 20-30 feet. Now I'm right on that edge where we're on 10 feet of water before it drops off and that's where I've drilled some holes. I usually just break off about three sections of the mealworm or three millimeters roughly and uh, thread it onto the jig. And it's hanging, you want it hanging horizontally because the fish will pull it down. So it's hanging horizontally with the mealworm on there and that really will attract them. I just let it drop to the bottom and be prepared uh, for a hit because these guys will take it like that right off the bottom. See I just dropped it down to the bottom. Now this is a smaller fish but that's okay there's lots of small ones in the area. Now these fish are being a little bit picky with that uh, smaller lure once I put the camera down there. So we have a high pressure system right now after that big storm last night. They might be a little turned off. You may think well I need to go smaller. Now one thing I like to use when the fishing is a little bit slow and the fish seem less uh, in more inactive and uh, more picky it's actually put on a more aggressive bait like a cicada which is larger will bring in the active fish from further away now when you're using cicadas they have a great action but in order to impart that action you need a stiffer rod like a medium medium heavy rod or a heavy rod all you do is you put a snap on the line so that you can uh, attach to that cicada because if you just tie directly to it it'll likely cut your line so make sure you use a snap or a snap and silver combination do some big uh, jigs which causes a lot of vibration in the water will bring in those fish from farther out the more active fish there we go got a nice one here feels like a nice one. Oh yeah there's a big perch like you like I was saying when those fish slow down you just go ahead and put on one of those cicadas and you can end up catching some big perch on these slow days you would think you need to use a smaller presentation but there you go there's that uh, big um, that's about a quarter ounce cicada this is the white uh, chartreuse glow and I just put half a mealworm on the front hook oh there we go got another big one just hooked up I just had it got down there another big perch look at that big one another beautiful uh, 10 11 inch perch my uh, stack is building up pretty fast here there we go another perch little guy but you will catch less of the little ones with these bigger lures. That's the nice thing about using a bigger lure when you're fishing a lake with lots of smaller perch. If you feel that you lose action, just uh, pull your line up because sometimes the back hook gets fouled up. For perch fishing, you don't really need that back hook so you can even take it off. But uh, I usually don't have a problem with it so I just leave it on. There we go. That should be a nice one. That should be a nice perch right there. Oh yeah, that's another decent perch right there. All caught on the cicada. They're all around the same size. Big weather change last night. These fish weren't even taking that small jig I was using very well. So I went ahead, put on this cicada. Now just one after another, stacking up the perch here. Sometimes changing up size or color will make a big difference. I actually moved up one size and now put a chrome and glow on actually like the chrome uh, colors the best. Thanks for joining us today on the Fishing Doctor's Adventures to catch some of these perch in that high pressure system with the cicadas. Don't forget to give them a try and if you like the channel please subscribe and uh, click one of these links to keep watching the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.